Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about sewing machine needle identification procedure. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. Sewing machine needle identification procedure. Sewing machine needle. Whether the sewing process is done by hand or with machine assistance, a needle is always the key component. However, we cannot use the same type of needles for both hand sewing and machine sewing. The machine needle's purpose is to make a hole in the fabric, thus allowing the sewing thread to pass through the material. It also allows the thread to create a loop making the stitch complete. You need to choose an adequate needle in order to have a high quality sewing session. However, to make a correct choice, you have to take into consideration the type of material you want to use. Any discrepancy between the needle type and the fabric can lead to the stitches being torn apart. Moreover, it can lead to irreparable damages being made to the fabric. Sewing machine needle identification system. The below sketch shows the needle types and needle size. A sewing machine needle is identified with three parameters and they are system, point and size. System. A needle system defines the dimensions of a needle to suit the machine type. Depending on the machine and stitch type, the needle is designed with variation in length of blade, shank thickness, type of eye, etc. Some of the system is single needle lock stitch, DB1, double needle lock stitch, DP5, overlock DC1, flat lock UO128, bar tack DP5, concise special flatbed UO113, button hole stitch DP5, Two needle feed of the arm TV64, button stitch DP17 or TQ1, blind stitch LW60. This means the basic dimensions and the shape of the needle. To select the correct system, refer the manufacturer's manual under the brand name and type of machine. It may also include equivalent systems. Point. Your needle point is classified broadly into two types. Round set or cloth points, cutting or leather points. Round set or cloth points. There are believed to be around 20 different round points available. Out of this, six are in common use. Round point needles applications. Set cloth point also referred to as normal round point are this point is used for normal fabrics with standard seams as it pushes the yarn to the sides. Round point needles applications. Slim set point also referred to as acute round point SPI. This point is used for dense woven fabrics as it causes less damage, helps set a straighter stitch and minimizes seam pucker. Commonly used for microfiber and densely woven fabrics. Coated materials top stitching of collars and cuffs in shirts. Round point needles applications. Light ball point SES. This point is used for sewing lightweight knitted fabric. It is sometimes used for fine denim and light densely woven material to avoid damaging the material. Round point needles applications. Medium ball point SUK. This point is used for sewing Medium weight knitted fabric, it is also used for medium to coarse denims, particularly sand washed and stone washed grades. Round point needles applications. Heavy ball point SKF. This point is used for coarse knitwear and for sewing dense woven elastic. It won't push the elastic yarn through. Special ball point SKL. Used for medium to coarse elastic materials 
with covered elastomeric threads and very coarse knitwear cutting point needles cutting point needles have sharp tips like blades these tips are available with a wide variety of cross sectional shapes such as lens rounded triangular and square they can be used while sewing dense non fabric based material cutting point needles cutting point spear cutting point wedges they spear the material more readily than the round point types thereby generating less needle heat there are a large number of cutting points of which around 11 are in regular use needle size thickness the size of a needle is generally represented in one of two ways although there are others one method is by a number metric nm this represents the diameter of the needle blade in hundreds of a millimeter measured just above the scarf but not at any reinforced part of the blade for example a nm 110 needle is 1.1 mm in diameter while a nm 50 needle is half a mm in diameter the thickness of the blade on the right is 1.1 mm wide which is shown in nm as 110 The alternative standard needle sizing method is the American system that uses a number that represents the size. Needle size thickness. Needle size can be a bit confusing depending on where you are from. Much like shoe sizes can vary depending on EU, UK or US size, needle size can vary depending on whether you are purchasing a needle in Europe or in the America American size needles are numbered from size 8 to size 20 the finest sharpest american needle will be a size 8 whereas the thickest needle is a size 20 european size needles range in size between 60 and 125 here the finest needles start at size 60 whereas the thickest needles are size 125 Thank you for watching For more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel Please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when I post a new presentation Bye have a good day